straight off the tree figs. Oh. That is absolutely delicious. My name is Nick Ferrand and these are my uh, Italian one take property tours. Good afternoon to you. Um, I'm back from holiday for, if, for those of you that follow this channel. Uh, had an absolutely fantastic time away in Puglia. Beautiful beaches, uh, the vegetables are just divine. Um, everything about it is fantastic, except for um, the amount of trash on the side of the road. I mean, this is the fourth year that we've been going to Puglia and I would say to you that you know, it, this year is like really noticeable. I mean, why would you do that? Why would you just throw your trash at the side of the road? I, it's depressing. Now, I normally, if I point my finger, it normally means for my dog to sit down. So, no, no more. No more trash on the side of the road. Right, that's all I've got to say about that. Now, welcome. <laughs> what have I got for you today? Well, I am in Umbria and... Um, it's a beautiful day, it's much cooler. Um, if you watch the video which I did of the ruin in um, near Ostuni, you will know that it was uh, 42 degrees and uh, well, that's jolly hot. You know, but today it's about 27, there's a little breeze, uh, there's not high humidity and um, it's just a really beautiful day you know at the end of August and I've got something very special for you today because I've come to this house um, and I wanted to do this property but it's been rented um, and the reason I wanted to do this house is that because it's off-grid it's pristine you're in the middle of the countryside some might say that you're in the middle of nowhere but you know it is gorgeous the nearest shops are about 15-20 oh, minutes away uh, the nearest town is probably about 25 minutes away um, I'm going to point you in the right directions when we go on this tour um, but I just think this is a really special house so come on let's go let's get on with it just finish this other part of uh, this exquisite um, fig I don't want to be talking with my mouthful and um, mm. oh, God. that is just delicious right so what do you have well, you have your enormous fig tree. Oh, look. Figs. And then you have this spectacular, spectacular, southwest facing view. Uh, and all you can see are basically hills. And I can just see in the distance a couple of houses which are over there. And right in the distance, right in the distance, is Perugia. Um, and that's about, well, by the time you get up there and park, about 35 minutes away. Now, let me slowly pull round, and then I'm going to show you the countryside. Now, this house has 13 hectares of land, and that's, you know, enough for everybody. 13 hectares. Oh, look at that beautiful stone building. Right, I'm going to do the outside first of all, I think, and then... Uh, we're going to uh, go and do the inside uh, afterwards. Now, 13 hectares, it has a well. It's 120 meters deep. Um, and anyone who's dug a well will realize that's quite deep. Uh, but look at the stonework at the back of this house. Right, this is a ground up restoration. I'm just gonna show you this and I'm just gonna pull up there. Can you see that? You know, really nice and you've got fly screens on all the windows um, double glazing and uh, I think that they've got these green bars here um, because they're going to be putting up a, a fence at some stage because you, you as I said to you I mean you are completely immersed in the countryside and uh, you know you've got lots of wild boar around and they probably want to keep a boar around from uh, look, rosemary Gorgeous, and they want to keep the ball off, off, you know, the uh, garden area. Now I'm going up here because I want to show you uh, the tech room. I'm going to get in here. Right now, that's the water, and that's a water container, and that is what it looks like a 5,000 liter. Yeah, it looks like a 5,000 liter to me. 
Right, here is a diesel generator, and if I pop into this tech room, and uh, back from holiday, the camera will adjust. And look, you've got 24 800 watts. No, they're two watts at 800 amps. Batteries. No more electricity bills. How fantastic. Now I did see, when I came round the back of the house, uh, that it's got an air conditioning system. And inside they have hot and cold uh, radiators. So uh, you've got a central, so look at this, look. See these olives? It's not ready yet for harvest. Probably be end of September, the beginning of October. Okay, a little windy, but I'm going up. Now, the swimming pool. Uh, I think is 11 meters by five meters. And it's quite a walk, actually, to get up here. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna be huffing and puffing, I know I am. All right, come on, just get up. Whoosh. All right, so, rummage away. That, oops, snakes. That is the pool kit, pool pump, filter into that. And then if I pull over here, you've got this really fantastic swimming pool. Hang on, let's try this, this, this. Two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve meters. Let's pull behind this olive tree. Get out of the sun a little bit. See the view? Outstanding. Beautiful. And I haven't seen this pool cover before, and that is French. And look at this. I could probably walk on that. I'm not going to, but I probably could. And uh, that is to stop animals at uh, this time of the year looking for water. And uh, occasionally you do find that uh, they fall into the swimming pool and get trapped, poor things. Right, dusty car, beautiful house. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I would say it's a little, you know, it's quite a long way. All right, what have we got? Three, three times three is nine. All right, solar panels. Let's pull back slowly over here. 13 hectares. That's enough. Now I've seen the gas tank. Uh, that looks like a 2,000 litre tank truck will come down and fill that up. I'm just going to pull back over here so you can get an idea of what the house looks like. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Amazing, isn't it? Just lovely. And what can I hear? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Right, outside lighting, solar, love it, beautiful view, oh that was my, lavender, sorry, <laughs> silly me, um, oh it smells so beautiful, okay are we ready? Now I've turned all the lights on because 
basically it's better to shoot the video but the first impression that you get is that this is a extremely well executed restoration project and uh, on this floor you've got this beautiful beautiful travertine flooring see that really gorgeous travertine and then if I come here there is an absolutely lovely big reception room with a wood burning stove and they've left all these original little bits and pieces which I love and I think that's really nice and the stonework is absolutely gorgeous and then if I pull the camera around you can see here there's a wood burning stove and then if I lift up here you can see these absolutely beautiful 15 by 30 reclaimed tiles and then some lovely original beams. This is your entrance hall. Really lovely colours. And then we're going to the kitchen in a minute. I'm just going to show you in here. This is your inside dining room. And I expect basically uh, you would really not use that in the summer months. Now, moving into this room, Again, I can see travertine flooring and again, I can see a beautiful telescope and I am sure at night there are the most amazing stars. And that there is a concealed convector heating system for your air conditioning and hot air. Isn't that lovely? Oh, look at this. Look, pull up here. Stonework. Beautiful woodwork. Amazing wooden beams. Really, absolutely lovely. Let's get into the kitchen. This is all the outside furnishings and uh, cushions for up by the pool. And then you come into this very nice modern kitchen with a L-shape uh, aisle and a cooker, uh, a five burner, looks like a whirlpool. Yes, it is. gas burner and for those of you that like refrigerators there is the fridge right and then there's a freezer which is above I can see a toaster and a microwave but if I pull back here you've got this lovely through feeling you know from entrance kitchen and living room really is beautiful right stone stairs stone stairs yes look uh, the measure of love is when you love without measure and that's what we should be doing loving our planet and looking after it right so i'm on the first floor and i've got this hallway and to the right of me, which is a door which I'm going to open, if I can. Uh, I just pull around slowly. Nice breeze coming through there. And then you've got the original staircase, which would have come up and people would have lived on the first floor. And if I come back out of here, and then I can show you the view. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. 
Here, shutters. Again, beautiful beams, beautiful reclaimed tiles. Lovely spaces. Master bedroom, one step down. And this is quite interesting, look, I want to show you that. You see that? That's called a monk's head. Now I can hold the camera up. You see this beam coming down here, this here vertical beam. And there's a gap at the bottom just there. And these two supports coming either side. Now if it's snowed a lot, you suddenly you've got a lot of weight, which is forcing down on top of the roof. And this enables the roof to flex. And they came up with that idea about 500 years ago. <laughs> Just love it. Totally love it. Right, lovely big bedroom. And then, wait for it, everybody. Closets. Okay, built-in closets, and then to the back of that, then you have bathroom number one, and that has a shower, a bidet, a toilet and a sink, a heating rail, a really nice ensuite. suite. come back out of the master bedroom, onto the first floor lobby area, Then we go into bedroom number two, and this is a good size double as well. Two windows. All the windows have fly screens. And this has a, uh, a wardrobe, but it does have here some closets. And I quite, I not, I know it's not that I quite, I really like the colour they've painted this house. Really is lovely. Beautiful doors. And then we come into here. This is bathroom number two. And again, it's got a Velux window at the top. Lovely tiles, lovely beams, no bidet, sink. And I might have mentioned at the beginning of this uh, video that there was uh, uh, three bathrooms, but there are actually two bathrooms and a cloakroom, and I'll show you that in a minute. And then this is the smaller of the three bedrooms. Again, a lovely feel. You've got a couple of steps down and uh, Wooden beams, wardrobe in here. There's the concealed air conditioning units. Uh, one window in this room. And really, really jolly, jolly nice. Right, you want to know the price, don't you? Now, I am going to put a link, which is going to be up somewhere there of a, another house which um, I think is an absolute bargain and that is on the market for 795,000 euros and I think that that's a really special house um, and this house is on the market for 795,000 euros. Uh, I also think this is a special house because you know I, I want to be I want to be off grid you know and I'm looking for a house to uh, to build or some land to build a house and I do want to be off grid. Right, the last room that I haven't shown you is the other bathroom which is downstairs which is really just a cloakroom. I'm going to get in here 
I don't know, I'm just going to come down there and show you that. And then I'm going to show you this as well. What can I see here? There's a bit of humidity. Um, and that is incredibly difficult to get rid of. And I think that the reason that that humidity is there is because if I pull out of here slowly and I just come in here, you will see that this is the window and then you've got this flower bed which is due to be planted and I think water is getting in here just coming in there so I think you're going to have to put something in there to get rid of it uh, and that's not really a very big job but look at the stonework on the outside it really is absolutely gorgeous now what do I think what do I think what do I think about this house? I think it's a very special house, actually. I think it's a really nice property, and I, I just love the views. I love the countryside. I love the fact that basically that uh, you've got your own power source. Uh, I love the fact that it's been restored, um, and I think it's very, very livable. Very livable. Right, so I'm just going to finish off from where I was before. Uh, Thank you so much for coming on this tour. I'm sorry I had a little rant at the beginning, but uh, really, honestly, we, we've got, I normally say really honestly, seriously, we have to look after uh, this beautiful planet, which we all have, all are fortunate enough to live on. All right, my name is Nick Ferrand, and these are my One Take Property Tours. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and click push and do all the buttons and everything else and you'll get notifications. And uh, here I am back from holiday, feeling good. And I hope to see you on the next property tour. Thank you so much and have a great day. Thank you.